Marie Puck, you you are selling part of your collection, partly dedicated to your father and partly dedicated to your activity as an art dealer. So first, I would like to know why is this auction? Well, um, I never thought in the beginning of uh, doing this auction, but uh, I met uh, one of the um, expert experts who's called Philippe Luigi, and uh, he did this. He did with uh, Benoit Forzo uh, in Paris. Uh, they did uh, four auctions con from the collection Cannes, uh, and uh, it's a, it's a very it, dedicated to of, yes, dedicated to the avant garde, right? Of They're mainly surrealist the... artists. Yes, uh, and uh, and um, it was uh, with very rare books. It's mainly con it's mainly concentrated on books, actually. And uh, I thought that the layout of the book and it was so interesting and well done. Um, and just by chance, Philippe Luigi lives in my same street in Brussels, and so we we met, etc. And I thought, why not do an auction? This is how it started. Uh, and it's it's already since a year and a half ago, two years that we first started talking about it, and now uh, I'm quite happy how it, how it turned out. The, and uh, uh, what's interesting in the sales, uh, partly is that uh, there's a lot of uh, personal documents. Yes, which speak about the 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 spirit, the nature of uh, of the spirit of your father. So there's, for example, this story, this story about the mouse. Yes. No, I did. I did. Uh, uh, since since many years, I did collect uh, books, ephemera, and editions of my father. And then, in this in this context of this uh, of this auction, uh, it was. I thought, all right, why not put also some personal works, uh, some personal letters as well as drawings, which I did with him. So it was a drawing by, with four hands, like one says, a quatre mains. Um, but could you tell us a story? Yes, the letter. So, there's, so that's why I'm coming to that. Uh, why, why did I put the le these letters in the auction? And I wanted to share these because it's like a work of art. This one letter, for instance, with the rats, the mouse and the rats. Um, and to share this with the rest of the world because it was... Uh, it's a funny story, in fact. Uh, he tells the story uh, to me um, in, when he was living in Berlin, and uh, I, there was a little mice under the fridge. And uh, before we left back to London at the time when we lived there, uh, I thought, poor little mice. I was 12 years old. Poor little mice, they will have no, no food. So I left them quite a bit of food. When my parents went back to Berlin, the apartment was full of rats they ate everything uh even the soap, the the clothes everything so they had uh, so so my father decided to do this letter uh, to me to to explain as a story uh, what is happening as reality and to compare this with the grim brothers with their story who they they did uh um, say how, about the, the rat, how, how do you call it? The, Le joueur de flute, the flute, the, 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 the name, uh, the flute player who, who, who took all the rats out of the town. And um, so he compared the story with, with the reality with the Grim Brothers. So, and it, this, this is a letter in two parts, which is now in the auction. And after that, he made a, even made a, a print with with the image of a cat right yes, yes. and uh, there's a play that's uh, called la, la souris écrira the mouse will write but in french there's a word uh, écrira it also means uh, it writes the rat you know écrira in the future yes it's a, it's a, it's a very nice edition with um, uh, dit, les, les ombres chinoises in english Yes, I don't know, but uh, so it means it really means that he was the the raw material of his art was really his life, right? As a poet, certainly. Um, no, but uh, for example, he he has this story with you about the mouse and the rats, and yes. he made a print a print about it. Well, the print 
I, I, I mean, the, I think it was maybe separate, but it's uh, it's true that recent that I didn't think about the link with with the letter and the sprint. But this came. Uh, one other person told me this must have been the same time, and yes. not who are saying the same. So uh, must be. Uh, I didn't realize it would be the uh, the sprint would be maybe influenced by this story with the rats. Of course, I yes. think so. Yes. Yes, that's very interesting. I think. Absolutely. So I'm quite happy to, about this information. And um, so there's the other part of the auction dedicated to your activity as yes. an art dealer. And uh, one of the big events of your career was uh, um, the show dedicated to James Lee Byers. Yes. The death of James Lee Byers, the, the famous American artist uh, in 94. Uh, well, I started with James Lee. James Lee Byers, I knew also as a child. So there is actually a photograph of my father, me, and uh, James Lee Byers from 1968 at his museum, in, in, at the museum of my father, which was the Section 19e siècle. So I met, I met already Byers when, when I was small, but I was very admir ad, admi admiring him. He was already very uh, imposing as an artist. And so um, after my, my father died, and I was quite young, I was 13 years old, um, I frequently saw buyers and uh, it was natural uh, when I opened my gallery that I would invite James Lee Byers to do exhibitions. And I made actually four shows with him. And the most spectacular one is the death of James Lee Byers, which, uh, in nine, that was the last show in 94, and the whole gallery was gilded with uh, gold leaf. Uh, the, so the ceiling, the walls, the floor, and he did the performance for the opening where he lied down in the middle uh, in gold. And uh, he, like, uh, I don't know, like a pharaon, uh, like a Egyptian pharaon. So I'm sure there was a, a link to Egyptian uh, culture and uh, it lasts for like for six months or something right yes and then i had a, actually i had a second uh, gallery uh, just next door which was closed for this installation and then later uh, like a three or four months later uh, i did a show with christian boltowski um, and uh, it had also to do with death because uh, there was tons of clothes on on uh, on on the floor? No, I uh, was also on sur les étagères on um, okay. on shelves, and um, so it, this was agreed that James Lee Byers agreed to to have this show and buy and Boltanski the same because they know each other. And, but it's, the contrast of these two exhibition was quite uh, quite. Amazing when it was. Uh, and uh, was uh, this uh, exhibition uh, successful? Yes, very much. Very much. Um, it was. Uh, it was breathtaking, and as well, as well, it was. You know, you could see the installation from uh, from outside, so it it functioned also at night. So it was and an installation twenty four hours. You know, a day, seven days a week, basically. And did you sell the James Lee Buyer show? Uh, the bias show uh, finally I did sell uh, later. Yes, I did. Mm. Yes, it's one of the very important piece of his career in all yeah. the museum retrospective. This exhibition is part of it. It's a very difficult installation to to re to to install though. But uh, apart from that, yes, it's a key. It's one of the key works. Bon, merci beaucoup. Thanks mm -hmm. a lot. Yes.